So I'm back on my place here. I prepare my plan. It's a self-made plan from a shower hole. I use this plastic, very light to transport and very good for the snow. I will start shooting in this direction, so I prepare the plan in the right direction for the five tiny shots where we go in each direction. The size of this plan is made for inspired drones. And as you can see, it works perfect in these snow conditions. I'm always a little bit of distance of the slope, not to disturb the tourists. And here you have nobody bothering your questions, disturbing you during flight. So some people ask me how I get the five sunny shots. I will show you that slowly so that everybody can see it. <coughs> Important that you launch the drone just a few minutes before you start. It's minus five degrees so the battery can warm up. But in my backpack it's only a little bit warm. Kill each app before you start. <coughs> so we have a blue sky this morning. It's very boring to take sunny shots, but I will do it anyway. So first of all preparing is the whole shooting. You have to set all the manual settings, light balance, that you have to write exposure, 100 ISO for the full resolution. I have GPS, everything is okay so we can start with it. No battery warning. check that the drone is stable before you go away so it seems to be stable props are okay so we can go further away and take the shooting here we can see the full film sequence of the panorama shooting settings from the exposures settings for the camera so we are ready for takeoff take off The home point has, has been updated. Sensor. Please check it on the map. So we will fly to our start position to take the panorama. So the first direction is very important. Align the drone like on the plane to the sun, for example, and then we start the panorama. That's very important for the five sunny shots that we have the same direction. If you have not the same direction the XML file will not work. The blade is very important to land on snow. You cannot land directly on snow if at all. So now I will show you how to get the five sunny shots. I started the panorama in this direction from the sun. That's very important. First picture of the panorama is in this direction. So I take the drone, point it to the sky and go a little bit 
up to 30 degrees and take the picture. Don't forget to change the pano mode to single shooting. Either turn clockwise, clockwise in this direction. Second semi shot. I can't see it on my I my display now I'm too low. Okay? And just be aware that you are not on the picture. So I go just to the maximum, take the picture. And the last one in my direction. And the very last straight to the sky in the start direction. Here the sun, the sun is the start direction. If you don't follow the right angles, the XML file will not work and you'll have a miss up of the panorama. So actually I'm at 40%. I do not fly below 40% under these conditions we can never know what happens with the batteries. So I check on place that I have my five Zeni shots. That's very important. I do it twice so I have no problems. I can see my ten pictures, my panorama, so everything is okay. At the end I change the battery so I will be ready for the next shooting. A little bit later, another place. So that's uh, very practical, the, the new box, the new bag. I have also the whole loading equipment in it. So I can, can just go to the restaurant and charge, charge all the, the batteries. So now I'm ready for the next fly. So shooting is finished, back skiing. Less than 50 grams. Now we will load the 25 images plus the 5 Zenit pictures into Ottobahner Giga with an XML file. The XML file gives all the coordinates of each image, so we have each image on the right position before we start stitching. That's very important for the mathematical algorithm to get good results. Have a look on the result, we have an RMS from 3 point zero two which is very good as you can see we have all the five semi shots on the picture the final panorama seems to be all right i have not corrected any stitching errors on this image only a little bit work on photoshop to have better colors now let's have a look on the xml file so 
in the heating it's the same as the Mavic and at the end of the file we just add the five Zenit shots. You can download this file on my homepage and I will add it on the next XML creator. So I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching. Until the next time.